Hello friends and welcome back. I don't know about you, but I am really excited for this year's fast. I was actually anxious for it. I'm usually not because, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to put down those foods that we love, sugar, carbs, those are two big ones for me. So, but I was really anxious to start the fast this year and there's just something different. I feel something different this year. And I, it makes me feel excited. I know that the coming of the Lord is soon, and maybe that's what it is. But I do want to say real quick, all of the recipes that I show you today will be down in the description box, typed out for you. Under the title, it'll say more. Just click on the word more, and it will show you all the recipes. Please don't forget to like this video, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'd love to get to know you better. So with all of that said, I want to say the most important part of your fast is not the food. It is a hard fast, as I said, and the average Christian does not fast these days. Um, I don't know what the percentages are, but I only know of just a handful of other Christians who actually fast of any kind. So if you are attempting this fast for the first time, or maybe you do it every year, I just want to say, may the Lord bless you richly. Maybe may his favor be on you because you are doing something that the Bible tells us to do. And I know that the Lord will bless you for it. So I, I want to say when I begin the fast every year, what I start praying for in the beginning is forgiveness for others. The Bible tells us that when we forgive others, the Lord forgives us. When we ask for forgiveness, it's important. It is a very important thing to forgive others and it softens you. And that's what we need. We need soft humble hearts. So when you are willing to forgive other people, it does show a softness. And that is important. We need servant hearts to regard others as more important than ourselves. And that is what that is showing in you. So I want to say also that reading your Bible is very, very important. It is knowing the Lord. It is learning who He is. And that's part of a relationship. When you are in a relationship with someone, you're faithful to them, right? You're not going to wear another boy's ring <laughs> or, you know, do those things that are questionable. You're going to be faithful. And you're going to get to know that person. You're going to spend time with that person. So that is what we're doing right now during this fast. We're getting to know the Lord. We are coming to him with requests for this coming year. We're wanting his favor, his guidance, his leading through this year, um, his protection. And most of us pray for our family members as well. And especially for those that are not saved, we are praying for the, those people to have softened hearts, to receive the, the opportunities that are put before them. Every single person on this planet is given the opportunity to know the Lord, to accept Him. And we have free will. So I always pray for those family members who have not accepted Him yet, to take that step and accept him and dedicate their lives to him. And I also pray that my church family grow spiritually and that our relationships would become stronger. And, you know, the Bible tells us that iron sharpens iron. We need our church family. Um, that is where we get our strength. We rely on them for prayer, for um, guidance, for a covering. And, you know, you look at a sheep, a sheep by itself is prey. It's easy prey, but there's safety in numbers. 
And that's why it's important not to neglect the assembly, but make sure and find a good church. You know, even these days, it's kind of hard to find a church that is going to fit all of the requirements that you have. Everyone has their own requirements. You know, just go to a church. You feed yourself at home with prayer and reading. If your church is not feeding you, feed yourself at home. But the act of going to a church and being part of an assembly is very, very important. So um, with that being said, I also pray that I have a humble heart. I have a soft heart, that I have a servant heart. The Bible tells us to regard others as more important than ourselves. And it also tells us to give credit where credit is due. And, you know, all of those things that lift up each other is is very important. So easily we can become focused on self. So in future videos, I do want to talk about where we're at in time and what's happening in the world and how it pertains to us now. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video now so it doesn't get too long. So I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.